Guess what we're doing today? Well, we're gonna do a full face of Victoria Beckham Beauty. I have a full face of makeup in this lovely, lovely bag here. Victoria Beckham Beauty is a luxury brand started by Victoria Beckham, aka Posh Spice, my favorite spice girl when I was a child. I'll never compare. She came out with a luxury beauty brand that's clean and just luxurious and beautiful. And I have officially loved every single thing that I have tried. I've not tried every single product because it is so expensive. <laughs> it's a very expensive luxe brand. And I've acquired all of these makeup items over a number, like a couple of years, and I've waited for sales to purchase these items. So this isn't something that you can just, you know, and you can if you want. Not something you can just like, oh, I'm gonna get a full face and it's gonna cost $200. No, <laughs> it's, you know, if there's a sale, you're gonna save a lot of money. This is gonna be my thoughts on this face of makeup. I just feel so pretty every time I wear her makeup and I'm really happy with how the look came out today. Thanks so much for joining me and uh, let's get into it. First things I wanna be talking about are the eye products. So I have three products to share with you all today. I have to start with the Lid Lusters. The shade's Chiffon and I have the shade Mink. I went ahead and swatched them already onto my hand. So this is Chiffon here. It's this very like warm toned, champagne-y, kind of like glittery top coat, where Mink is a little bit more emollient. I wouldn't say that they're super different in formula, but Mink feels a little bit more emollient. Um, and it has more of a base kind of pigment that's like this beigey taupe and the really intense type of glitters. It's the super oil slicked, beautiful, very nuanced type shade. If you're a one and done eyeshadow lover, the combination of these two are absolutely incredible. Um, I, they're some of my favorite eyeshadows just in general. And I can't even say that I use them that much because they're just so like precious and special to me that when I do wear them, I like, it's because I want to make a very elevated, elegant look. Um, and they're very expensive too. Like they're, they're, they're a lot. Like this is a luxury beauty brand. So it's, you know, for what they are, I think that the formulation is absolutely stunning. But if you're not like a glitter top coat or a one and done type of eyeshadow person, these might not be for you. And I just, Oh man, I just love them so much. The product is a smoky eye brick and I bought this during the Black Friday sale and I actually didn't really plan on buying this. There was another shade where it was like, they were all shimmers, but the color story, it kind of seemed like uh, something very similar to a Charlotte Tilbury quad that I have that I don't really reach for that much. It's actually my like, one of my least favorite products that I own from Charlotte Tilbury. Not that it's not a beautiful formula, but it's just not really something that I'm looking for. But I kind of have gone through this eyeshadow renaissance, you could say, and I kind of got rid of the majority of my matte eyeshadows. And so I was looking for something kind of neutral, like an everyday, like easy. And I saw this one in the shade Signature, and it's this kind of like neutral, nudie, Shadow, very heavy, very luxe. I would say if you have a lot of basic shadows, um, especially neutrals that either lean kind of like cool toned a little bit, you don't need this. I went ahead and swatched it on my hand here, but this is something that I wouldn't say that you necessarily need, but if you are looking for like a more neutral type palette, that this is a very lovely formula. They're, it's all powders um, and they're very silky, very smooth. They blend out very, nicely. And uh, yeah, I don't regret picking this up, but I can't go on and on about it saying that it's something like as special as the Lid Lusters. You know, it's just, it's a, it, they're very different products. I do feel that they go together in a very compatible way. And the packaging is, you know, super luxe, super beautiful. It's a lot smaller than I anticipated because the bronzer is so big, but this is, um, it's it's a it's a very lovely eyeshadow. I'm interested in doing kind of like a daytime esque appropriate 
look with all of this, so I'm gonna forego using mink today, but I think if I used this with mink and the smoky eye brick, it would make a very beautiful kind of oil slicky smoky look, but I'm going to work, so I just, I don't really want to do that. So I'm just taking chiffon all over the lids and just blending that out. It's one of those shades you don't even really need to use a mirror because <laughs> it, it just kind of blends out pretty effortlessly. And you can use this as a one and done. Like this is a very doable one and done shade. Because the base in it is pretty transparent, but there is a little bit of a base there. And the rest of the glitters scattered throughout it are very finely milled um, gold glitters that lean a little bit more champagne. So it's not like a, a very bright gold, and, but it's also not pink and it's just, it's a very new, uh, it's neutral. What am I saying? It's a neutral champagne. <laughs> On the smoky eye brick and signature, I'm gonna take this end shade, the two end shades here. So this kind of lighter, cooler brown and this beigey skin tone. This color here is the exact same color as my skin tone. So it offers this really beautiful either like base or it offers um, something that will blend out seamlessly into my skin tone and diffuse some color. So that's, we're gonna take that up and around into the outer corner here. So if you wanted to keep it kind of like neutral and simple, you could stop here, but I'm now gonna take the darkest shade and just lightly put it on the outer V of my eyeball. Something I noticed is that there's little to no fallout with these and I really, really appreciate that because I just, that's something I don't really like in an eyeshadow. Um, and I know a lot of people don't care, but for me, for some reason, it's just like one of those things that when I dip my brush into an eyeshadow and so much of it flies off when I tap my brush, and I just feel like that that type of formula, you go through the product very, very quick. And with this, it feels like it's gonna last you a, it's, yeah, it feels like it's gonna last you a really long time because it's not like these eyeshadows are hard, but they, when they go onto the brush, they stay onto the brush until you put them onto your skin. So you can see that that just kind of lifted my eye and elongated it a little bit. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush with nothing on it and kind of diffuse my edges a little bit. Every time I do eyeshadow, my right eye always looks significantly better than my left eye. And I think it's because I have slightly t like downturned eyes and my one eye is more downturned than the other. Like I have two differently, I have two different shaped eyes, I think. Um, but they're my eyes, so I can't really tell. Taking some, a brush with nothing on it to diffuse just a little bit to make that transition a little bit softer where the eyeshadow meets the skin. As you can see with the eye look that I have now, um, mink added onto that would just blow it out with like smoky oil slickness and it would be a super beautiful look but I want to go for something a little more subtle today um yeah that looks really really lovely and uh yeah so now on to the cheeks okay so now on to the Victoria Beckham bronzing brick I have this in the shade bronze too it is wow yeah I, it's not cheap. It's almost $60, I'm pretty sure. Um, and, you know, whether that's worth it to you or not is, you know, completely up to you, but um, I did wait for a sale to purchase this. I don't, I don't, I don't really like differentiate. They're so similar. Anyway, I've been kind of dabbling my toes back into the world of powder bronzers because I do feel like they're just so much better than they used to be, like even just a couple of years ago. Um, and this bronzer is just, it doesn't stick to any patches on your face. Like it goes on very diffused, very smooth, and you can just keep blending, like go, go, go. So you can make this as pigmented or as opaque as you like. Um, I just, like even just that, like just gives instant life to the face. Um, it's just so good. 
It's very soft, very diffused. It's lovely. And, oh man, I feel like she should almost come out with like a blush in this formula. I think it would be very, very beautiful, very subtle. Um, and it's just very natural, very nice. It lasts underneath a mask if you're wearing one um, very well. It doesn't get like weird and muddy. Like it just is, it feels like I paid a luxury price point for a luxury product when I use this bronzer. It's just so lovely. It comes in a variety of shades. Um, Bronzing Brick 1 is very cool toned and it just seemed like it would be more like a, like a, almost like a contouring color for me. But if you're fairer than I am or if your skin tone leans a little bit more pink, I do feel like that would be a really nice product for you. But even Bronzing Brick 2, it's just a warmer version. And so it's just, wow. And this is, the mirror is incredible. The size of the pan is exceptional and it's so luxury, like, it feels like a paperweight, like this is like an actual brick. Um, not very travel friendly, unfortunately, because of the weight, but um, I don't know if it would actually deter me from not taking this with me somewhere because I I love this. Like this and the hourglass bronzer um, that I tried a few weeks ago for the first time, I just instant love. And I feel like that's, you know, a makeup product works really good for you and that you genuinely really do like it because the second you put it on your face, you're like, wow, I, I don't need any other bronzer. This and the hourglass, like it's just, they're so, so lovely. And I have to almost like keep myself from just like putting more and more on and overdoing it. But I feel like it would take a lot of effort to overdo it with this because it does diffuse so effortlessly. It just makes your face look so like airbrushed and lovely. And mm, on to my second baby. He posh blush in the shade Playground. And this isn't like a groundbreaking color for me. It's that like brownie nude that gives you like a sun kissed, like beautiful, you know, it's just, it's just a color that I've been eyeing up for a really long time. And I picked this up at the sale and I'm so happy I did. And, you know, there are mixed reviews on this. I'm not going to lie. And so I was kind of disappointed to hear how many people didn't really enjoy it. Because the second I used it, I was like, oh yeah, it's like one of my new favorite blushes. Like it just, I don't know. Um... It just works. It just works. And I don't know if it's really the color or the fact that it actually lasts with me wearing a mask at work um, or how subtle it is. Like it takes a while to really build it up. So I do feel like it's very effortless, very user friendly. And you know, I just, that's just what I like. I want it to be effortless. I want it to be user friendly and I want it to actually last. That's the thing with blushes especially cream blushes, if they don't last on the face, there's no point in wearing them. Like it just, it's just silly to me. This is a thicker formula. So it doesn't have like a lot of um, like super dewy qualities to it, which I almost prefer my stick blushes to be more on the matte side because I do feel like they work well with a variety of type of products. So you can use them with really dewy products or you can use them on top of powders. That's why I like the matte nude sticks blushes so much because they are versatile in that way and very um, compatible with different types of formulas. And I feel like this blush, at least in my opinion, um, is like that. Like I feel like this, cause this just went over top of a powder bronzer with like little to no effort. And I just feel <laughs> like it's just, it's very expensive and I deem it very much worth the money. I think the color playground is just my go-to brownie nude neutral that I love. And yeah, where was I going with this? My original point. So like I was saying, since this isn't very emollient, it is a little bit more um, like satin matte. It isn't something that I feel like you should just swipe onto your face like certain other cream blushes. Um, I think that because it does kind of tug a little bit that it is best to use your brush and then go on to your face because you do run the risk of it kind of going patchy if you just put it onto your face and then you try to blend it out and then it just kind of sticks and tugs and what have you. So um, I would say brush and then apply. But yeah, so 
man, I just, it's just banger after banger and I just, <laughs> nom nom nom. Next is the lipstick. I have this in the shade Girl. Oh my God. So I used this on camera not that long ago and it was, you know, me just like gushing. So these come in so many beautiful shades and yeah, the shade Girl is that perfect like everyday nude. They're kind of like a satin formula, but they're not drying. It just, it lasted with me eating and I just, I feel like so, so my camera died while I was filming um, the lip portion, but I'm not sure where I was at with it, but it was kind of a blessing in disguise because I had an opportunity to eat some breakfast and drink some coffee. So you can see how the lip has survived through that. It's not drying, but it is, in my experience, long wearing. I do like to have um, like some type of like chapstick or something underneath it, but that's how I am with any type of non-lip balm type product. Um, yeah, it's just the perfect pinky brown neutral. It's just my go-to every day now, and it's just luxe and beautiful, and I love it so much. But yeah, that's girl on the lips. It's not a video unless I talk about this, you know what I mean? Um, my favorite mascara of all time is the Future Lash Mascara by Victoria Beckham Beauty. It's a tubing mascara. It's very nourishing. It's very volumizing. I went ahead and put it on off camera while my battery was charging. Um, and this is actually my first time using this tube. This is my new tube that I picked up during the sale because I did go through my other tube. Um, that I got earlier this year and it ages so gracefully like it doesn't get like I mean like all mascaras when they're at the end of their life or they're almost out they get kind of like you know thick and kind of make your lashes clumpy but as this ages it your lashes just start to get thicker and thicker and thicker and you can really build this because you can't build all tubing formulas you know like it makes your lashes so soft, so fluffy, just, they're just so nice. And you can make this look really natural or you can make it look very voluminous. Um, I'll just, it's just the best mascara and it, you know, it's that glass luxe packaging um, and it comes off so easy. It comes off in these very satisfying, like soft tubes. You have like a really thick mascara that's hard to take off and it takes so long to take off and like your eyelashes just feel like damaged almost. This feels the opposite. It almost feels like it's like nourished them as it's been on. And uh, yeah, I love this mascara so much. Um, nothing has topped this this year. The Tower 28 is a close second, but it's not a tubing formula. So it is number two and this is number one. Yeah, I love it. And um, I really hope she comes out with a brown. I think that this in a brown shade would be like so good. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I love this brand. I love the way my makeup looks when I use all of these products together and or if I incorporate one of these products in a makeup routine with products from another brand. It's just so good. I just love it. I I love that she doesn't come with, out with like a bunch of things. Instead, she just comes out with a really good formula for one thing and then she expands the shades. That's really great. I love when brands do that. They just don't like crank out bullshit, you know? And I just feel so pretty when I wear it. I feel so like classy and elegant and I can live out all of my posh spice dreams. What does that even mean? Thanks so much for watching. This is the final look and bye.